بابا عمر بابا عمر 29 10 2011 مبنى تم قصفه من قبل دبابات سورية يا الله ارحمنا يا الله From Aleppo to Hama, Damascus to Homs, more than 25 journalists were killed in the line of duty in Syria in 2012. Not since the Iraq war have so many journalists died in a single country in a single year. The deaths came even as the Syrian regime tried to impose a media blackout. Bashar al-Assad's government barred entry to international journalists and exercised an iron grip on local newspaper and TV coverage. Foreign journalists responded by smuggling themselves into the country from across the borders with Turkey and Lebanon. Citizens responded by picking up cameras, documenting the conflict, and uploading videos online. They did this so the rest of the world could know what was happening in Syria. And they did so at extreme risk. Freelancers made up about 40% of those killed in Syria, an unusually high proportion. They include Rami al Sayyid, a videographer whose work was picked up by international news outlets. He died during a government bombardment of Homs. His cousin Basil, a fellow videographer, had been killed just months before. Local journalists constituted the large majority of victims. Mazhar Tayyara, a Syrian photojournalist who contributed to Agence France Press, CNN, and Al Jazeera, was killed in government shelling. Four international journalists also lost their lives. French photographer Remy Oshlik an American-born reporter, Marie Colvin, died when government forces shelled a makeshift media center in Homs. Witnesses believe government forces targeted the center. Most of the deaths in Syria came in combat situations, but at least three journalists were hunted down and murdered. Security forces in Hama launched an assault on the home of Abdel Karim al uqta a cameraman and reporter for the Sham News Network. They killed al uqda and three friends, and then burned down the house. While government forces were responsible for the majority of fatalities, rebels and extremist groups were behind some of the deaths. Al-Qaeda-linked militants said they gunned down Ali Abbas, an editor for the state news agency, at his home in Damascus. <laughs> Images pose a powerful threat to those who try to control information. And the death toll reflects that reality. About 70% of those killed carried a camera. Mika Yamamoto, a video and photo journalist for Japan Press, was traveling with rebels in Aleppo when she was shot at close range by government forces. The toll also illustrates the changing nature of news gathering. More than 50% of the victims worked online. They include Anas Tarsha, a videographer killed by a mortar round, he filmed clashes in Homs and uploaded hour after hour of footage. Al-Tarsha was just 17, an inexperienced citizen journalist, but he had common purpose with Marie Colvin, an internationally acclaimed reporter and veteran of several conflicts. They both risked everything to reveal to the world a war that the government wanted to hide. <laughs>